Okay, today we're going to talk about economic growth and the importance of trailer parks. And we're going to talk about growth because it's important. It's important because we want to understand the U.S. economy. We want to know what drives that. We want to know if other countries are catching up to us and what they're doing. We want to know where to invest our dollars so that we make the high return. And we might want to think about where our charity is going to be most effective. And because this is economics, we have to draw a graph. That is, in fact, a law. And growth is about increasing your output or your cap, your GDP, which we show with a Y. And we're going to talk about the importance of capital, which we show with a K. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a production function. And the production function is increasing at, an, at a decreasing rate. So you can see that it's going up, 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 all the way around. The more capital you have, the more GDP you have. But you'll also notice that when you get that first unit of capital, it makes a big difference. And when you get that last unit of capital, it doesn't make quite as much difference. So that's what we mean by increasing at a decreasing rate. Okay. And of course, one of the disadvantages of capital, since we're talking about capital, is that it depreciates. And we're going to assume in this really, really simple exper uh, example that capital is all just one thing and it, and it depreciates at one simple rate. So there's a straight line since it's one rate. And since we're saving part of our money to buy capital and the rest of it goes to consumption, we can have a savings or investment capital line or a savings line. Either one. And this is just a percentage of your production function. So this percentage from this line here down to here, that's savings and, and investment. And from here up to here, that's what you consumed. And remember, we actually want to consume. We're not just working so that we can continue buying more capital. We want to have uh, things that we can buy. Okay. So when you first start getting more capital, when you go from low capital to high capital, you're getting richer. So when you go from this unit, you know, one of capital, you get this output. And when you go to the second unit of capital, you get this output. So you're much richer. But at some point, that's a, a dilemma. This is the way the, the depreciation line. And so you can actually have, be in a situation where you have too much capital. And that seems really weird to think about. But let's say you have lots and lots of capital. So imagine that I, as a professor, instead of having two computers, one at home and one at work, have 100 computers and 100 at home and 100 computers at work. Well, that's too much. I can't possibly use this. I mean, I could, but that would involve having more friends than I actually have over at my house playing Halo. So this capital, when we have lots of capital, is just going to waste and it's depreciating. And so it's actually moving us this way. And so eventually, we're going to get here. And since that's the equilibrium that we want to be at, we like to call that K-star. And that gives us this output here, Y star. Now, the funny thing about this is you think, well, wait a second. Once we're at K star and Y star, there's no more growth in this solo growth model. In fact, now it's just an output model. And that is where the trailer parks come into play. You might say, Mitch, it seems like trailer parks couldn't really be that important, but actually they are. Because as you know, trailer parks attract aliens and aliens have new technology and new technology is really important in this graph so once we get the alien technology our production function goes up right so now we have the same amount of capital but we have this new technology which allows us to grow so now we went from y star to Y star star. So let's make sure we understand how this works. When you're a developing country, all you need is more capital. More capital makes you richer. So you go from you know, this amount of capital, one, and this output to K star, which gives you do, 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 all the way over to Y star. But then you can't use more capital to get richer. Then you have to have more technology. And if you have more technology, that's probably coming from aliens. And I know you're thinking, Mitch, couldn't technology come from somewhere else? Well, sure. You could do research and development. 
you could come up with your own technology, you could think of new things on your own, or you could just invest in trailer parks and attract aliens and use alien technology. And that's actually what we've done. And a lot of people are, are surprised by that, but then once I tell them, they normally think, oh yeah, that makes sense.